Hello guys, Dave here, and I'm back with another tutorial. Today is going to be a very quick tutorial. And for this, all you're going to need is Photoshop. So, we'll be making this sort of background, as you can see on my wallpaper. I'll show you like a, a preview of it now. Of what we will be making. This. Well, let me just get it from there. This little thingy, this little guy by her. So yeah, oh. What happened? Come back. Yeah, so we'll be making that. Just a simple background with a little texture. Yeah, that's what you'll need as well, actually. So you won't only need Photoshop, you'll need a texture as well. So before we get into that though, first thing you need to do is open up Photoshop. I go on File, New, and then set it to these. I've just made a preset of it. So I'll set it to that. You can do it different sizes if you want. But the settings in the effect that we'll be using is going to be different. So just use this and you can scale it up or down to wherever you want then. So if we do that, there it load up. And then you want a gradient. And then the first thing you want to do is select the colors. So you can be any colors you want. They, it'd be better if they contrasting colors. So like a, say, um, a red. And like a, and either a black or maybe an orange. That's not really contrasting. But yeah, let's just do, yeah, we'll do a black. Red and black. So get a tool, click somewhere in the, up the top in the middle, and just drag down, hold shift when you're doing it. So it's straight. And you should get that. So next, what you want to do now, go and filter, distort. And then wave. Then the settings for this, I might might mess up the first time. I need to remember it. So I think it's no, don't do that. On the minimum, go on 60. Then the max, change it to 61. 61. Oh, that's not 61. Come on, change. Okay. So now bring the number of generators up. Copy what I'm doing. I think that might be alright. Um, amplitude. Bring that up a little bit. That should be alright. Yeah, there you go. And now we've got that. But I know this don't look like the background I was gonna, that I said we're gonna make. So now, go filter again. Distort again. Then go on polar coordinates. And just click OK. So now we've got this. So we're halfway there already. Um, now we just go on Google. Type in textures, like crack textures. You could use this. You could, well, you can use any of these really. I prefer like the crack textures. I think they look better. Then just scale it up, all the way. Then just tick, and then go on. Click on the texture layer, and go on from normal to linear dodge add. Oh no, sorry, overlay. Yeah, it's overlay. So go on overlay, and now you can see it's in the background where the black is. So you can bring it down, bring your opacity down a bit. So you can see it slightly in the background. I'll show you if I zoom in. Control and plus to zoom in. You can see the cracks in the background but they're on the black then. And it gives it a cool looking effect. So if I zoom back out now. That's basically it. If you want to change colours, just like I said, do different colours but um, and then go through the process again. Or if you want, you can use a different texture, like I'll use, I'll use this one. Tick, go on overlay. And now it is in the background, but because the, that's black, you can't see it as much, obviously. So it really depends what colors you pick. So that's it, and then just go on File, Save As, and then you can save it like that, or you can save it as a JPEG, and name it, whatever. And then you want like background or BG for background. And just click save and click OK. So that's it. And then we got our background. So where is it? There it is. The background. I know you can't see. Well, you can see it a little bit actually. It's really faint in the background though. So that's how you make that. I know it was only a quick tutorial today, but I thought it might help, and someone requested for it. So if you want to see more videos like these. 
can either subscribe to my channel or just keep visiting it, visiting it if you don't want to subscribe. It's up to you. I hope you, have, I hope you all have a good day and I'll see you in the next one.